All right, welcome back, everyone. All right, Rock's Kitchen. You know what we do every day. It's always a different recipe, always something new, always something that's a little bit out of the ordinary that I normally ate. All right, today this dish is going to be called Rock the Boat. Why are we calling it Rock the Boat? Because we're going to take an avocado, we're going to cut it in half, we're going to take that big pit out, we're going to scoop out some of the filling. And then we're going to add to this boat, because that's what it's going to look like, some of those shrimp that I talked to you guys about. All right, so it's, it's really a stuffed shrimp avocado is what this is, but we're going to call it Rock the Boat. All right, before we do any of that, I've already got some of my shrimp laid out. What I did was I have some chili pepper in there. I have some cumin in there. I have uh, smoked paprika. I did a little lemon up on top of it. I also put a little salt, a little pepper. And now we're basically letting it marinate just for a little while. All right, let all those flavors get into the shrimp. Shrimp is one of those, those uh, fish that really absorbs what you put on it. So it's going to have some great pop to it. All right, we're going to make a sauce that we're going to put the shrimp in after we have cooked it. And what we have here is I have some diced up bell peppers. All right, we got your orange, red, green, yellow. I have that in here already. I also have some uh, mayonnaise, light mayonnaise, very important. And then we have some uh, fat-free Greek yogurt. Now, I haven't really used Greek yogurt yet because I really wasn't a fan, but I said this is all about opening up to new experiences, new tastes. So I'm giving it a try. So I have some of the stuff already in here. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to squeeze a little lemon in there. I mean, excuse me, orange. There's our orange, just a little pop of the orange. And then we're going to go in here and put another citric in here. We're going to put some lemon in here. And then the one thing that we're going to add to is we're going to add some of that chili powder. A little bam. We're going to give it a little, little. Let me not say bam. It's already trademarked. We're going to give it some boom, boom. All right. We're going to give it a little boom, boom. All right. Then we're going to mix this up. Now I already have some salt in here. I already have... Uh, you know, as I said, the peppers and stuff. But let's let's give it a little taste and see how it comes out. Give it a little taste right here. Oh my goodness, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So as I said, we had our shrimp going on, right? Go mix that up a little bit. Get your little skillet out. Spray a little uh, olive oil on the pan. Already did that. Let's get this cranking real quick. We're going to mix this up. Get all those flavors together. All right. And then we're going to get to sizzling. And you really don't have to um, overcook this thing. All right. About a minute on each side. If that, you know, I told you guys, you really don't have to go too hard on your shrimp. All right, you don't want to lose any of that, that juiciness that comes with the shrimp. So as you can already hear the, uh, the pan sizzling already, we'll have these things in and out, as I said, about a minute. Then we're going to let it rest for a little while. Once we let it rest, that's when we're going to let it go ahead and, and take a bath in that, in that cream sauce over there we made. And then I'm going to add one last pop to it, all right? What do we have that's surrounded by, by a, a boat? We got water. So my version of the water is going to be a nice cilantro sauce that we're going to make with it. All right. So let's get that popping right now in between looking at the shrimp. That's, you know what? Let me not mess with, the, mess with the shrimp by leaving it too long. As I said to you, really doesn't need that much. Put it on maybe about a medium-high type of uh, uh, heat. You'll know when these are ready. So what, what I'll do is I'll prepare our mix here. So again, we're going to do some cilantro. We're going to do a little scoop of, of garlic. Really, just about a, the equate to equate about one one uh, one clove of garlic. You don't really need too much. Get 
get back over here to my scrimp real quick. See the color that's turning? See it's just turning? You want to make sure that you, you're staying on top of that. So it's just giving a little uh, a little color to them. I like to call it, get a little, little suntan into it. Flip all those over real quick. And we're almost there with this. Oh guys, if you can smell it, it smells great. It smells great. And what I'm going to do is, once I flip them, because again, the shrimp really don't take long to cook, I'm just going to turn the heat off, let it cook through the rest of the shrimp. So I basically got every single shrimp turned over. Except for this one wants to play with me. Give it a look, see, there's one that I missed. All right. We're going to go ahead, actually I'm just going to turn it all the way down. So getting back to this. We got a little cilantro, we got a little, um, got a little uh, garlic in there, equate to about one, one uh, clove. Gonna go with some red wine vinegar. Not much, you don't need much, just a little, just a little bit, give it a little tang to it, you know what I mean? And from there, we're gonna go ahead and pop a little lime up in there. So it's nice lime juice up in there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pop some pepper up in there. Gonna go ahead with some salt. Boom boom. Boom, boom. A little salt. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put some of this uh, olive oil up in there. We're going to go ahead and get it cranking, get it going on. I'm going to put everything together so that you see in a little while. When I come back, we're going to have the final product. Again, you can tell where we are in this video. We're basically almost done. And how long did that take? Didn't take long at all. So, we're going to pause for the cause. Go ahead and pause this, babe. All right, guys, we're back. Shrimp came out good, nice and juicy. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to chop it up a little bit. And I always try to use the lady Rachel Ray's products, okay? It is a plug. Love you, Rachel. Going to make us uh, proud with this little chopper here. So just come simple stuff. Again, nothing too hard, nothing too difficult. It just simply chops, does its thing. You can scrape it back together. Look at that. They always say if you have the right tools, things are easy. Particularly as a man, I'll speak for all the men out there, most men anyway, who don't know how to cook. This is, this is perfect for you right here. This little toy, all right? A little seesaw action, all right? So now, we've chopped up. Move my bowl over here with our nice little creamy sauce. And we're just gonna pick up and dump in. Pick up, dump in, one more time. One for me. And now we just simply stir it up. Look at that. I mean, you, you guys can't smell this, but as you're tossing this thing around, it smells so good. I mean, so, so good. There we are. Done. That's it. Now, we're going to take a little uh, magic television. How'd they do that like that? No pit in it. So then we're going to take a spoon. And we're just going to go all the way around this thing. We're creating our boat. Look how soft that is. Now, just simply put it on our plate. And you may want to 
open up the boat a little bit, taking out some of the stuff here. And now, boom, there's one boat. Here comes the second boat. Pop right out. Boom. Right there again. Scoop out. Let's give us a little tape right here. It's pretty good. Now, let's fill our boat. Take this here. All right, we're gonna call that one the SS Goodness. We're gonna call this one here the SS Rock the Boat. Make sure you guys got plenty of shrimp in there. And bam, that's it. Some boom, boom, bam, baby. We got ourselves a nice, healthy meal, some good, healthy fats, all right? Now, what we're going to also do to it, don't forget that drizzle that I talked about, right? We're going to take that out. Let's put our blade right here. And we're going to get ourselves a spoon. And we're simply going to drizzle some of that goodness right on there. baby we rocking right now i'll tell you guys right now i don't even got to tell you that it's going to taste good because i know it's going to taste good combinations all started putting together started tasting great again another healthy way to make changes in your life all right sleeve sleevers that are out there a sleeve gastrectomy people you're going to enjoy this and even the people who don't have the sleeve you will enjoy this this is good food right here all right join me next time on the rocks kitchen where we cook up something else that's tasty and good and good for the soul. I'm telling you now, let me dig into this before, you know, it's too late. And they start smelling it in the house and they want some. They can't have none of this right here. Rock's Kitchen, baby. Two fingers. I'll see you soon. Peace.